Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everyone here. I always talk about my love for the salutations and greetings that you give with a truly global platform. So I always take the time to give out all of them just so you feel welcome no matter where you are on this big wide world. My name is Michael Skiller. I am the education and outreach coordinator here at commontime.online and the dot is just common time online unless you're on the website then it's commontime.online and I am here with another episode of our weekly webinar series called Wisdom Wednesdays. Now you may notice for this release, hey, this is not Wednesday. Well, in the U.S., it's Thanksgiving this week, so we did take a couple days, but we're back and we're going to deviate from our regular webinar series schedule and talk about something special today. While we're talking about this, I'm actually going to pull up a particular website. This week, for all of our educators, individuals, and arts organization, Common Time members, we are talking about the first annual Common Time International Arts Festival. Yes, that's what we are talking about. If you head over to commontime.online right now and click on the events tab, you will see it front and center. And also on our homepage at commontime.online, you will see in our events ticker or news ticker right at the top, um, CNN, Common Time News Network, you will see um, that we have that event front and center. So I want to take you through what this event is, how you can participate, and everything that you're going to see on those days. So I'll be taking you through the first annual and the first ever Common Time International Arts Festival what it is, who's going to be there, and how you can participate. So as I'm pulling up this website, uh, we've got it now. What is it? The Common Time International Arts Festival is an attempt by us to create something special, to bring our community together, create something special to continue to empower our artists and create some more live, engaging, virtual content for all of our stakeholders. Please remember, I know I've beat this horse to death, but Common Time is an all-inclusive arts platform with the goal of engaging learners, empowering artists, and expanding arts outreach. We achieve this goal by connecting artists, individuals, educators, and arts organizations through our purpose-built video conferencing platform that supports live, engaging, virtual, and pre-recorded downloadable content for all of those stakeholders. We want to engage learners by providing them an opportunity to learn art from someone that doesn't look like them, to learn about art and learn about culture from people who live and breathe that culture every day, whether it be music, theater, dance, or visual arts. We want to empower artists by giving them a platform where they can deliver these sessions, deliver this content, host these webinars, these masterclasses, these recitals, host all of the events that they could think of, market themselves, promote themselves while setting their own prices and making their own schedules. We want to expand arts organization outreach like we recently did for the Portland Youth Philharmonic by providing them, those arts organizations, with a location where they can live stream content. They can ticket that content. And uh, for example, with the Portland Youth Orchestra, we hosted their Together Again Season 98 opener concert. And with our built-in audience in the community that we're building, they're able to host that event live on the Common Time platform. They're able to ticket that event, and we are able to help more people in our community, maybe even people that don't have access to an orchestra of this caliber, be able to participate in world-class events like that. That's our goal here at Common Time, and we are so thankful that you have chosen to join us on this journey. 
The Comic Con International Art Festival, like I said, it's an opportunity for us to bring in artists from around the world over a two day period and have them host events, sessions, webinars, recitals, um, different types of content like that. And we are putting it out to the world. We're putting it out to the world so that you have the most engaging arts content possible. Yeah, that's our goal. For you to have the most engaging arts content possible. So what I'm going to do, now that you know what the arts festival is, um, oh, by the way, it's taking place on December 3rd and 4th at all times of the day and night. Like I told you, our artists are coming from around the world. So in order for you to participate, you've got to do two things. Number one, you've got to register on commentime.online as an educator, an arts organization, or an individual. Now, you have the power on Common Time to register under more than one title. So myself, for example, I'm an educator. I use my educator account when I am booking sessions or purchasing tickets to content um, such as the Common Time Arts Festival. But I use my artist account when I am delivering sessions, when I am going out to visit a class in Germany or going out to visit a class in the US. I use my artist account. And of course, as individuals, um, you can combine that with other accounts too. For example, if you are an artist, you're a performer, but you're not currently teaching, maybe you don't find yourself um, fitting the educator title, but you still want to take sessions and receive content from the Common Time platform. You can sign up as both an educator and an individual. However, currently with a platform, Educators, individuals, and arts organizations are able to register and then book events such as these. So once you register, once you register and book these events, once you register, you can go to the events tab on commentime.online or click on our pop-up ticker at the front page on the home page. Very easy to find once you go to the website and you will see all the details of the Common Time International Arts Festival. Our tagline for this is, we artists from around the world. Enjoy hours of arts experiences. Find them all in one place. Okay, December 3rd and 4th. And all of these sessions that you purchase will be available for download. If you can't make it at the time, I told you our platform's global. So maybe you live in America and you wanna see a session in Hong Kong. That's a 12 hour time difference. That, that might be two o'clock in the morning for you, you know? And the good thing about Common Time is when you log into your account, it asks you your location and it does that so that it can time match everything. So you don't see my events in GST, Gulf Standard Time. You see my event times in Eastern Standard Time or Central European Time or insert region time, wherever you are. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into who's performing, what type of sessions are going to be available during this first annual Common Time International Arts Festival. Once again, this is our weekly webinar series entitled Wisdom Wednesday. But today, we're deviating from that schedule to talk to you specifically about the Common Time Arts Festival and why you need to be there. Okay, I pulled up the events tab. I'm looking at it, and the first session we see is, oh, did I forget to mention that all these sessions are $5? Yes, $5. The first session I see is one called Being Rhythmic, which is by me. This session is at one o'clock in the afternoon, Gulf Standard Time. I think that would be 4 a.m. on the East Coast of the United States. I think that would be 10 a.m. in Central European Time. And I think that would be 4 p.m. in Southeast Asia. But once again, when you register for Common Time, it's going to show you in your time zone. And all these events are going to be available for download for all the people who purchased. And this class is done by me. I'm a world-class percussionist in addition to such a handsome talker. We're going to be talking about some of the truth behind rhythm behind what it means to be 
Eurythmic behind how you can actually build rhythm in yourself, behind how you can experience time and music in a different way. You know, rhythm and meter and pulse are all ways that humans have chosen to measure time through art. I once heard someone say that visual art is how we measure space in this world and music is how we measure time. We're going to learn about how music measures that time and how you can be a good time measurer. <laughs> The next session I see is the Contemporary Ballet and Movement Creation Introduction by Manon, who is in New York City, I believe. This session, because we are a global platform, will be offered not only in English, but in French as well. This is an opportunity for you to come on and register for Common Time if you love dance. Pay five bucks for a ticket to this event and then get in there. This is at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but of course you will see this in your time zone. I think for a class like this, that early morning time could be good. This could maybe mimic your morning workout, how you get up, get your body moving. Well, no, I guess there won't be any punching. It'll be more like, oh. I'm no dancer, but I hope that was pretty good. And this will be a 45-minute class with a Q&A on contemporary ballet and movement creation. They'll start with a warm-up, kind of fusing classical ballet skills with some body awareness. Then Manon will open the floor to the creative process and how to build a phrase and incorporate some of these different skills that she's going to teach you into your dancing and help you to create a unique dance that reflects your personality and who you are. She lists some key words here as touching with your inner self, trusting, and just letting go. And this is available for all levels, whether you're an experienced dancer or whether this is your first time ever dancing. The next session I'm seeing is pencil drumming. Pencil drumming. Um, and that session is being done by me. I'm out in Dubai. Let's see if I have a pencil near me. I've got a pencil. So when I was growing up, I was constantly fidgeting with pencils, doing this, and then what my teachers really hated was when I would is when I would beat on my desk with pencils. So when I was thinking of sessions to deliver that would be beneficial for both musicians, people wanting to make music, and for all, also for educators, people wanting to teach music, I thought, you know, what's something that all students do, maybe not all students, but what's something that I've done that I got in trouble for that I could turn into an educational experience? And one of the first ideas I had was, in fact, pencil drumming. That's one of the first ideas that I had was pencil drumming. And that way, for all you musicians out there, people looking to create music, this is a fun way, a low budget, low equipment level way to get you making music in, in a fun way. Everyone loves percussion and making beats and playing grooves with a pencil. Not only is it a cool party trick, but you're building rhythmic integrity within yourself and you're being creative. And for our educators out there, especially our general music, being able to take these little things like pencil drumming and maybe in, including hip pop or popular music in your lessons are really, really great ways for you to identify with your students, for you to take their prior knowledge into consideration in your planning lessons, and to catch their interest and differentiate based on their interests. I was always a pencil and pen fidgeter in school, and if you're an educator and you have people like that in your class, you need to come to this pencil drumming session to learn how you can incorporate some of these ideas into your teaching. The next section um, session I'm seeing is Art and Architecture by Kanchana. This is at 6.30 p.m. my time, which would be maybe 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 3.30 p.m. Central European Time. This class will be delivered in both English and German. And Kanchana is talking about the connection between art and architecture. 
she says that architecture is applied arts, you know, arts in application. And she's talking, what does that mean? Kind of an introduction to industry, how to nurture your child's interest in art or architecture, and what should I know to take up a career in architecture? So this class is definitely geared towards educators who are teaching visual arts courses, students who are interested in art and how that connects to architecture, and just anyone in general that's interested in visual art and that connection between drawing and building or sketching and building. I think it's so interesting how architects draw these amazing structures and then some engineer actually builds it. You know, that's such a different realization of art when compared to like painting or even sculpting even especially with like the real world applications, you know? Um, so this is a really interesting class for all of you out there interested in visual arts and once again, $5. Now for all you Whose Line Is It Anyway fans, I might be dating myself with that one. Or maybe if you're a fan of shows like Saturday Night Live or Wildin' Out, or any other type of improv-based show or based theater, we've got this session for you at 9 p.m. my time. But of course, once you register for a common time, you will put in your time zone and they will show you all these times in your own time. Han Chong, who is out in Slovakia, will be delivering in English an improv for everyone workshop. This is your chance to find out what theater is all about with you. Hong Kong is going to cover the fundamentals of playing fun improv exercises. So now that Thanksgiving's done and dusted, um, when you get to Christmas, maybe you've got some fun banter or little games to play at the dinner table. And he's going to teach you how to play these games and how to improvise in a safe, supportive environment. No acting or performing experience is needed. And he defines improv as a form of live theater in which the plot, characters, and dialogues of a scene are created spontaneously in front of the audience. I think that classes like this are just general communication helpers. Anytime you enter into a conversation with someone, you're improvising. So I think that this class is meant for all theater students, all theater practitioners, anyone that's interested in communication, and anyone that wants to spend $5 and just have a little bit of fun at the Common Time International Arts Festival. That will be taking place on December 3rd. As I told you before, all of these sessions are taking place between December 3rd and December 4th. This is just a little post-Thanksgiving, pre-Christmas, little sum sum that we're putting on for the good arts lovers out there. Next, our new Common Time artist, Cassandra Ormsby, is giving a solo bassoon house concert and masterclass. The bassoon is such a mysterious instrument, and maybe a lot of you, especially some of our non-Western clients, have limited experience with such an amazing instrument. Well, at 10.30 p.m., 1.30 Eastern Standard, 7.30 Central European, on December 3rd, this is your chance to catch Cassandra deliver um, some music and some words about the bassoon in English. She'll be giving a casual house concert where she'll be playing some bassoon classics and maybe some not so classic bassoon music. And then she'll be talking with our musicians and our music educators about how to practice for the long game, building consistency how to not be afraid and understand kind of the way that bassoons work. That topic is definitely geared towards our educators and other woodwind players. And how to make reads. So I would say that if you're teaching instrumental music, if you are an instrumental music student, you need to be at this session to learn about one of the instruments that at least myself in music ed did not learn enough about. I will definitely be attending this session to learn more about the bassoon. And next, this is an exciting one. This is an exciting one. So this is actually at 2 a.m. my time. Um, on December 4th, that will be 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
And it will be 11 p.m. Central European time. But of course, when you log in the common time, it'll show you these times in your time zone. And all these sessions are available for download. This is one of my favorites. This is Structure as Process in Hip Hop Writing by Common Time artist Joshua Alexander. Once again, December 4th, I told you the times, five bucks for entry. Joshua is a composer, a producer, and a rapper. He'll be delivering this class in English. And this is for people who are interested in writing songs. You know, he kind of says in his description of this that you have a writer's block or you lacking inspiration, fear no more. Fear no more. You know, he's going to help you whether you're creating a solid verse or exploring a new flow through prose and structure. He's going to help you use all of that to your advantage and take you inside his brain to show you how he creates hooks and choruses, how he creates verses or how he creates a bridge, how he uses the haiku and free writing formats to help him get his feelings and thoughts and ideas on paper. This class, he says... All you need is a writing utensil. This class is geared towards any musician, any music educator, any creative writer, any songwriter, anyone that's interested in any of those things. You've got to be here. I've heard a lot of Joshua's music. He's a great musician and great writer, and he's going to help you tone in um, tone in, tune in, and kind of ultra-focus your writing to make sure that you're writing the best music that you can. The next class I'm seeing by Brenda Poon, who's located in Hong Kong. She'll be delivering this session in English, but also in Cantonese and Mandarin as well to support our global-mindedness. At 3.30 p.m. my time, that would be... 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 12.30 p.m. Central European Time. She'll be delivering Pocket Rudiments, a percussion performance course based on the snare drum rudiments. So this is out there for all of you drummers, for all of you instrumental music teachers that are teaching percussion and you feel like you're kind of left out there to dry, not much info, here is your chance. We Or she's going to be focused on using the elementary rudiments to enhance your technique, playing, and speed. She even says it's money in your pocket which is why she calls it pocket rudiments. She's hoping that you can bring a pair of sticks and maybe a drum pad or something to play on with you while she's going to be teaching you some of the fundamentals and techniques behind playing the drums. So all you drum lovers, rejoice. The next class I'm seeing is called Full Mallet Madness. Now this is a class that's a little bit specific, but it's for, and I'm doing this one, it's for all people out there that are instrumental music teachers, percussion teachers, percussionists, anyone tangent to percussion, teaching you how to hold four sticks, how to use them effectively. Um, this technique of holding four mallets is always one of the most mysterious in all of percussion. It's one of the ones that educators usually have the least experience with. It's one that for students is often a rite of passage into kind of like growing up. This is akin to crossing the break on clarinet or... I don't know, expanding your range as a vocalist. This is one of those things, there's a lot of mystery behind it and there's often not a lot of information for people looking to find out more about this and find out how they can teach it to their students. All you need for this is some sticks if you've got them or four pencils or for anything that we can hold. In this class, I'll be talking and performing, taking you through a little bit of technical analysis, like how do you hold the sticks? How do you change intervals? What are the different stroke types that we will use when we're playing this? And then I'll be demonstrating them by giving you some live performances on this mallet station, which is kind of like a digital vibraphone that I travel with. The next session is exploring the spirituality in music from Persian traditional to free improvisation. This is done by Farzine, who I think is Persian in blood, but currently based in the U.S. This is on December 4th at 10 p.m. my time. 
1 p.m. Eastern Standard, 7 p.m. Central European, and this is an hour and 15 minute session, once again for $5, and he'll be offering this in English, also giving you some vocab and some phrases in Arabic and Persian as well, and he will be talking about exploring the conceptual, spiritual, and performative basis of these two music traditions being Persian traditional music and free improvisation so that you can express yourself intentionally and spiritually through music making in the future. So this class is for anyone who's interested in another culture, anyone who's interested in diving into another people's culture, anyone who's interested in music, anyone who's interested in travel, anyone who's ever been interested in the Middle East and those musical traditions, this is for you. This is the National Geographic of Music at Common Time Online. Farzine's an amazing performer and a great educator, and for $5, you have the opportunity to hear a world-class Middle Eastern musician play and talk about his philosophies on spirituality and music. You don't want to miss this. And the last on our set here, on December 4th, it says it's at 5 a.m. my time, or actually, it says December 5th at 5 a.m. my time, which would mean that this class will be at 8 p.m. on December 4th in the East Coast, and then 2 a.m. on December 5th in Central European time. I know you're probably thinking, you told me it was the 3rd and the 4th. How is this on the 5th? The way the time zones match up, for them, it is on the 4th. But for us, it presents the 5th. And this performing ensemble is the Voodoo Trio. They're giving a virtual performance. This trio is made up of professional musicians in the United States. That play the flute, clarinet, and bassoon, and they are playing several works together, showcasing the different sounds that these instruments can make, especially when they're put together. And this is just a performance. You know, I don't think there'll be any participation for you all. There'll be a question and answer series after, but for this one, you can just sit back, have a good time, and enjoy that beautiful music. So, all of those sessions, if any of that interested you, all you have to do is register for Common Time Online as an artist. Oh, blah, blah, blah. register for Common Time Online as an educator and an individual or arts organization. If you register as an artist, in order for you to book sessions like these currently, you need to also register as one of those other three individuals, educator, or arts organizations. Head over to commentime.online. Right there, front and center, you will see the Common Time International Arts Festival. Click there, get those details. There's a book all feature coming where you will be able to book all of these sessions, and they are all just $5. Come and learn something about music or theater or dance. Um or visual arts today, if you're interested in creating with any of those disciplines, this is your chance. We've got artists from Hong Kong, Germany, United States, Slovakia. They're coming in from all over the world, all over the globe, all these different time zones, and they're coming together to bring you the best possible live engaging arts content. Once again, my name is Michael Skillern. I'm the Education Outreach Coordinator here at Common Time, as well as a percussionist that's going to be delivering some sessions. And we really hope for you to come out and join us. This has been a little side Wisdom Wednesday episode, but a Wisdom Wednesday all together, focusing on the Common Time International Arts Festival. And we really hope for you to come out and join us. Thank you.